Typically, when I make a review, I will write the entire script and it just helps me film the video and it helps me edit and it makes everything so much easier. I don't want to do this with this show. This is less of a review and more of me just getting on my knees and bowing down to Rob Madge because this is one of the most beautiful shows I have ever seen. My Sons Are Queer But What Can You Do is a mini one hour musical. The autobiographical tale of Rob Madge and how they as a child used to dress up and put on shows in their living room and how their parents were supportive in this. It is a love letter, not just to Disney and the power of imagination and the queerness that we have and these things that we, as queer people, tend to hide because people tell us that we are wrong for feeling this way or liking these things. But most importantly, it is a love letter to Madge's family and parents and everyone who allowed them to be who they were. I feel like this show connected with me so much for a few reasons and today I'm going to walk you through these reasons. But if you haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Ellie, I'm a trans content creator here on YouTube. I do theatre reviews, theatre discussions and if any of that sounds interesting to you please consider hitting like and subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out and helps out what I'm doing here. But let's get started. I feel like the first reason this connects with me so much is just the story in general. We saw how in lockdown as Rob found these videos and started to post them online, we saw how this connected with people because not just to theatre people or queer people, there is so much to relate to here. Of course, not everyone is going to relate to putting on shows in their living room. Not everyone is going to relate to it in the same amount of way, but there is something beautiful about the innocence of childhood. There's something so perfect and so pure and funny about how young Rob took this so seriously. How important it was to them when they were a child. Looking past that, there is more to see here from a queer experience. We are told as children to kind of lock a lot of this stuff away, playing up, dressing up. We are told that we're not allowed to do that because we're not the right gender or we're not this, that or the other. And all it takes is that little bit of support like Rob's family had for them for us to accept ourselves for who we are. It celebrates all of this. And the story is structured so beautifully. The show's structure being a step-by-step -step kind of handbook on how to put on a Disney parade and also in turn how to raise a queer child and how to celebrate them. It's, just, it's so clever and well done in the piece of theatre. And to see someone celebrate this on a big West End stage, a celebration of everything that we had to hide away in childhood is just so beautiful and so touching, especially to me as a trans person watching this. Then we have to talk about Rob. First things first, how absolutely incredible is it to see a trans performer, a non-binary performer, just plastered on the side of a West End theatre. A massive sign saying the word queer, the first theatre in the West End to have the word queer on the outside. It is such an achievement and so beautiful and so fulfilling to see. Rob in this show is just an effortless performer. They are so human and relatable. Their charm comes across from the very second they start prancing around the stage. They get a laugh out of the simplest little moments, the simplest little facial expression, and all of Rob's comedy that you see in their sketches just comes out in full force. Rob's script that they have crafted here is just so beautiful and so funny. It's touching, it's heartfelt, and then also gives a lot of really funny jokes relating to theatre, poking fun at Rob's attitude in childhood to these shows. 
even just through just showing the footage on the back wall at the most appropriate moments and Rob's little comments while these are going is amazing. If this show was a 10 out of 10 by itself, Rob makes it feel like an 11 out of 10. Just giving everything they can to this and just bringing over that charm that is just so beautiful to see on stage. Such an authentic performance. Then there's a general design. Of course, we have the living room stage with the giant kind of TV at the back that shows all the home videos with some really beautiful touches to the design work of the show through the projection and the images. There's a really beautiful moment where Rob starts to put, put their hand up and presses loads of little rainbow handprints all over the screen while it's showing young Rob telling a story and how this kind of smudges into a beautiful little rainbow. Just the little touches like that to the design, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. I think the most brilliant part of the design is the costumes. Now, I'm not going to spoil where these costumes come in the show, but a lot of them have been released with marketing materials and just the craftsmanship on them. They look homemade, but they're so flashy and beautiful, like the perfect next elevation to what Rob did in childhood. I want all of them. I want to wear all of them. They are all so beautiful and flashy and fun and ah, it's so good. But the biggest reason, the biggest thing for me is just the representation of this show. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I am pretty sure that this is the first time that a trans performer has led a trans story on stage. And it's not a show that dwells in the trauma that we face, it's a show that celebrates what comes after and what comes if you open yourself up to the things that people tell us we're not allowed to do. This show is so important to someone like me. I've only been out for just over a year. I'm still figuring myself out, figuring out where I place and who I am as a trans woman. And to see someone like Rob on stage as a non-binary person celebrating so much of what I've struggled so much to allow myself to do because of things that people have said to me and the ways that I've been kind of pushed down and repressed a lot of what I wanted and how I wanted to look. It means so much more than anything else that I have seen. Rob, if you're watching this, which Probably not, but who knows? Miracles can happen. Anything is possible. Just thank you. Thank you for telling your story so authentically and beautifully. Thank you for crafting such a fantastic tribute to the joy that we find when we finally let ourselves do and be who we want to be. And if you're watching this, please let me interview because I, I want to, I, I, I just, I just want to have a little chat, Rob. I just want to have a little chat about, you know, transness and theatre and stuff, you know, just, just give me a DM. Give me a DM, babes. <laughs> my son's a queer, but what could you do is my favourite thing that I have seen this year. It is just, I don't even have the words to describe everything it meant to me as I sat there and just watched this hour-long piece of theatre. This show is worth every single penny that you spend on it and more. But, what do you think? Are you excited about Rob's show? Have you seen it? What did you think? I want to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps out the channel. But, that's it for me today and... I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.